You know that study that said that people who listen or watch Fox News are pretty stupid? Well, it's not only applying to the people who watch and read their articles and watch their programming, but also the people who work at that organization are pretty stupid. Fucking dumbasses. <laughs> Check this out. It appears that at foxnews.com, they had this article about how we should have traditional gender roles, the role of a bride, the role of the groom, and uh, the title of the article in Fox News is, To be happy, we must admit women and men aren't equal. So basically, you know, assigning different roles. I don't really care. I mean, um, of course there are differences between men and women. That's always going to be true. There are certain things women can do, certain things that man can do, that women cannot do, etc., etc. And uh, no matter how liberal or conservative you are, you uh, there are things that women expect of their guy to do. You know, hey, honey, the cabinet's broken or the washing machine's broken. Go fix it. You know that I see that happening even in, with the most liberal households that I've seen. But if you are a smart guy, you're not gonna really work on that machine you're just gonna call somebody else don't don't fuck it up all right i see my dad oh he tried to fix things and he always fucks things up so my mom is like no let's just call the electrician no 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 no. i can could do it well he's a retired contractor so he's like you know i'm a contractor yeah but you know you need help you need somebody with expertise i can install this what are you talking about? I can install this air conditioning system. Yeah, Dad, but it's $15,000 and, you know, I don't want to buy another one if you fuck it up. I can do it myself. It took like two months to install my air conditioning system. Golly, that was that was hell. But, um, Fox News. This is what they did. They wrote this article and... You know, articles always have pictures to describe what the article is about. So they had this article with this supposedly bride and groom. That's what they thought. But no, it turns out that the couple were two brides, a lesbian couple that just got married in New York at the top of the Empire State Building. It's just so ridiculous. And you can tell that the groom is a is a girl. It's a really butchy, you know, tomboyish kind of girl. I can tell. That that man is a woman. Right there. I, I can tell she's a lesbian. Maybe that's because I've seen a lot of lesbians. <laughs> so. It's pretty stupid. Fucking dumbasses. An article on foxnews.com advocating traditional gender roles to help women choose a husband and make peace with marriage inadvertently used a picture of two lesbian brides to illustrate its point. <laughs> the article written by Suzanne Vanker entitled To Be Happy We Must Admit Women and Men Aren't Equal argues that feminism has dangerously perpetrated the idea that women don't need man or marriage. Vanker contends that this has resulted in a society where women in the in the um, indefinitely postpone marriage until their biological clock start ticking and then they try to lock a boyfriend in, into a marriage yeah well that's true that well the reason why is because we are an industrialized country and you need labor and so what happens is a lot of women enter the workforce they go to school they go to university and then they get a job Unless you want to go back to the heyday where women did not get jobs and they were discouraged from going to school. I don't know about that. Yeah, it's all reactionary. That's what it is. The author goes further to say that feminism and modern ideals of women's empowerment have turned marriage into a competitive sport. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know what this woman is smoking, but... 
I don't really see much difference though. I mean, I still see even when uh, you know, in heterosexual couples, it doesn't matter if the uh, girl is working. The girl still expects the guy to make more money and the guy to bring you know bring home the bacon. I mean, that's uh, you know a across every sector of our society. And yes, you have women that work. They work at a fast food restaurant or they work at a, at a bank or whatever. Anyway, or they become teachers. But still, even at that capacity, uh, they still want their husband to be able to do something more than just you know. But yeah, there are women who don't want men, who are feminists, who hate men. And I don't like those kinds of people, to be honest with you. I know because, uh, you know, their views are pretty prejudiced uh, against men. You know, uh, yeah, I know men, especially gay men, you know, we have, we think more with our little heads than our big heads. And, you know, we, we fuck up all the time. I mean, I know that for a fact. But still, it doesn't mean that you get to cut off our wieners. You know, what the fuck's the matter with you? You know, I've seen this feminist once at a conference and she brought out a sausage. She got a knife or, or a cleaver and she started chopping that shit. Bam, 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 bam. She's like, fuck, man. I'm like, what the fuck is your problem, you fucking lunatic? Anyway, well, Fox News, there you go. Bunch of... Dumbasses. I mean, where do they get these people from? I know they get interns to work for them. Where do they go? To uh, Liberty University? <laughs> I mean, they'll teach you how to argue about abortion and gay marriage, but uh, to teach you how to detect a lesbian or how to appropriately post a picture. You know, uh, they could have just done it with a, uh, you know, with a wedding cake or something like that. But no, they went for the picture with a lesbian couple. Oh, how sweet. 